Yo, what is going on you guys? Blue Applehead here with another video and look, I haven't done a clothing haul video in a long time and why not show you guys some of the clothes that I picked up now. I've been picking up a lot of clothes recently and honestly, oh it's dark, honestly I've been having some of these clothes that I'm about to show you for like about three months and so I wanted to finally show you off, show you guys the clothing that I picked up because it is a lot of clothing. This is... This is some of the clothing. I still have some in my closet. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I picked up and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Now before we get into the video, I do wanna say one thing. Thank you guys so much for 900 subscribers. We are at 914 right now and the fact that I'm nearing a thousand subscribers is like unreal. And the fact that we keep growing as the channel is unreal. So I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys that just shows love, that likes the video, shares the video, comments, whatever you do to just Support me and support this channel. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It's truly, this is truly a blessing that I get to do this for fun. And like I said, just appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But let's get straight into the clothing pickup. I do want to show you guys all the cool pickups that I got because I did, I did kind of splurge a little bit on this pickup. So let's just get straight into it. So like I said, got a bunch of clothes, but you already know how we start. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So. First piece is these sweatpants. Now these sweatpants are from this brand called H2 Exchange, which is basically a partnership between Heron Preston and H&M, um, which if you didn't see my last video, I actually did a vlog of me picking these up. But yeah, these are just sweatpants. They are a bit oversized. I'm gonna show you guys in a B-roll, stuff like that. But the way that these are designed, I really do like them. It just it gives that streetwear look without really being like too minimalistic. Like it's kind of out there. You see by the green stitching on the outline is sort of like outside of the pants. And then also it has like this distress in where it's like the pockets are cut off. And overall, I think that it's a very unique design. I, like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty oversized in terms of the length. Like the length is really dragging whenever you put it on. So yeah, I really do like the fitting of this. Now, as far as the material, it's not really as thick as you would think. I know like it looks kind of thick, but really it's not that thick compared to like heavy, um, heavy cotton uh, sweatpants. But this one is just one that I like to wear. I've been wearing this a lot recently. That's the thing about me. Like whenever I get pants, I always just wear them for like a week straight and then nothing else. Like every time I'm going out, I like to wear them. Every time I'm in the crib, I like to wear them. And then after that week, I just like, don't toss them on again, but yeah. Sort of in that honeymoon phase of just wearing these a lot, so I do really like these. All right, so another pants that we have here are these denims. Now, funny thing about these denims is these are actually women's denim. Now, I know what you're saying, why are you wearing women's denim? Look, let me explain myself. This was a pants that my mom bought, but it didn't fit her. I don't know why she even bought this because my mom is, she's like 5'4", and for some reason she bought these very long pants and it didn't fit her. But then she she didn't want them, so I was like, you know what, let me have them. And then for some reason they just fit me perfectly. Now, the waist is a little bit big, but the length of it is honestly perfect. The inseam, like the, the width of it is perfect for me. It's sort of like baggy, but not too baggy to where it's like giving that, you know, streetwear look that's very popular right now, but baggy enough to like where you can wear like sneakers, boots and stuff like that. Like for an, for pants like this, I like wearing my Doc Martens because it just fits like, fits that shoe so perfectly. I don't really wear too many sneakers with this, but yeah, I'll wear something like something chunky with this. But yeah, overall, I think it's really nice. Like I said, this is a woman's pants, but for some reason it just fits me perfectly. And don't let people say that, oh, you can't wear women's clothing because women's clothing, you never know. They have a lot of better, they have better fitting and it might fit you better than, you know, most men clothing. And like I said, you probably won't even tell that this is a women's pants, honestly, if I didn't tell you. So that's that. Next up, we have this denim as well. Now this one, this one is actually a men's pair of denim. So this is a vintage, Mm, what is this? I don't even know. It's a Lee denim, which I got at a vintage shop probably like <clears throat> probably like three months ago. But yeah, if you've seen, and I actually made a YouTube short of this where I actually customized it because originally it was not like this. Like you can see it has like the paint splatter. And that's because I tried to do a hammer laying 
painter denim design with this because let's be honest i can't afford helmet lane right now and i'm not gonna be spending who knows probably 300 400 for a denim especially when i could just make them and it, the way that they came out it came out excellent they came out perfect like this is something that i love wearing i actually did this design on the back not too important but yeah in front of it i did the painting myself and i actually did the hems if you can see the hems are a little bit frayed off and i actually did it myself now this pants really works well with loafers like when i wear loafers with this it makes me feel like super how do i say it? super class it gives off that super classy like that elegant type of look because this is sits a little bit high on the ankle so it's not really like overlapping the shoe so you can't really wear like jordans or any type of sneakers with this like this is more for like if you're going to be dressing up an outfit like wearing a button up if you're going to be wearing a jacket wearing loafers boots anything like that this is the perfect pair of pants that you want to wear that i would wear for it but yeah honestly super nice i like how it came out moving on to the next one i lied there is no next pants those were the only pants that i have in the pickups so Okay, so we're going to be moving on to the tops. Now for the tops, I actually got a whole bunch of tops. Like, like I said, I went crazy spending on tops, but this is gonna be the first one. This is a Ralph Lauren polo tee. Now this one is a very nice tee that I actually got at a, at a flea market event that they were doing out here. And this one is, this one was originally a lot longer, but I did crop it. As you can tell, I like crop clothing. Like that's just my style. But yeah, I did crop this one, and this one just looks super nice. Now, with this shirt, I like to pair it with um, the budget helmet like denim and loafers because it just comes off super like classy, super elegant, super clean. And like I said, that's just my style. I don't really like wearing too many logos or anything like that. But this shirt is just fits super well. Like I said, I cropped it a little bit to make it fit my style a little bit more because it was a really long, but. Overall, the collar length is pretty good. The sleeve length is really good. And like I said, it's just an overall classy shirt. Like you can never go wrong with the polo shirt, honestly. If you don't have a polo shirt in your wardrobe, you definitely gotta pick one up. So next on this list is, on this list, what? On the pickups is actually this shirt. Now this is a vintage Dolce & Gabbana shirt, as you can see. And you can see that it's very thin. Like you can almost sort of see through it and it has this patch stitching on it with the numbers it says not for under 18 as you can see now this shirt is actually i got a while ago at this pop-up shop that happened and like i said some of these clothing is like from four three months ago but this one is a shirt that i really like to wear honestly i don't really wear it as much as i used to anymore I don't know why, but I just don't wear it as much as I used to. But yeah, this is a shirt, long sleeve, as you can see. Now, I really do like this. The design of it is really fire. The color of it is very nice. Like I said, it's this washed out gray, but it's very like light and breathable. So this is a shirt that you can literally wear with anything. And being in Miami, you know, it's always hot. So this is just a shirt, a long sleeve shirt that I can always throw on whenever I feel like it. So I can't really go wrong with this shirt. Next up is this button up now. Do not mind the fact that it is wrinkled because I just literally put it on my couch, on my sofa, and it's been crumpled up. But yeah, this is just a very nice blue shirt that is, like I said, a button up. It's sort of like a dress shirt, honestly, but I like to style it casually. And that is because I think that it's sort of that UK style where people wear button ups all the time. And it's just like, super dressed up business casual that i'm really into right now like i said so this is something that i wear a lot now this one i usually just wear with like jorts or i'm wearing with like i said uh denim that is like a little bit slimmer to me i'm not gonna wear this with like baggy denim like that's just gonna look crazy but this is a shirt like i said that it's a button up blue is very vibrant as you can see it's not as vibrant as it is on camera like i'm looking at the camera right now and it's very blue but honestly it's not really that blue especially in person but a shirt that can't really go wrong now i do want a lot more button-ups honestly i want a white one i have a black one but that black one doesn't really fit me as like 
perfectly as this one does. So I need to pick up a black one and I'm gonna start trying to wear ties. I know how to tie a tie, so it's not gonna be that hard, but the thing is just styling it. Like how do you style a button up and tie casually? Cause like I said, I don't really like dressing up sort of say, like to wear like business attire, like a suit, dress pants and all of that. So I'm trying to find unique ways to style myself and make myself look somewhat presentable and elegant in that way without really having to go full business attire. So yeah, this is just the start of that. And you know, we're gonna grow, we're gonna pick up more in the future. Now this one is another button up, but this one is a short sleeve one. Now this one, I did crop again. As you can see, I do have to take off this frame cause like I said, I don't, for me, I don't really like the frame at the bottom. It just sort of happened like this, but I'm gonna start trimming them out. But this one is a shirt that is also just you can dress up in so many different ways. Excuse me. But you can dress up in so many different ways. You can wear this like very street wear if you want to, or you can wear this very casually if you want to. And like I said, button ups are really starting to become my thing because I think that trying to deviate and trying to do something different from then from just the streetwear style is like sort of my bag right now. Like I'm not really trying to go full on streetwear all the time. I'm like trying to wear something that's more presentable time to time. And I think that button ups are the perfect way to go, especially something like this, because like I said, you can sort of ease into it. Like you can dress this up, like really wear like loafers, really wear slim jeans and really look very professional. Or you can just wear this with like Jordans or any type of sneakers and just really make it look street wear if you want to wear this with baggy jeans and it's just going to look extremely well with whatever type of pants shoes that you really want to pair with this so if you really want like a style that's going to be you know not too different from you know what a lot of people are wearing because i know that street wear is like the easiest thing to get into because it's very affordable number one but it's just easy to pick out the pieces but if you're looking to elevate your style, definitely pick up a short sleeve button up because it's going to take you a long way, trust me. Now we are going to go to this shirt. Now this one, this one is a shirt that I actually got from Zara. Now this one is a long sleeve. It's a three quarter button up. So it's not really like an all the way like down to the bottom button up, but it's like three quarters of the collar. It's a button up. And this one, like I said, my style right now is just going like super professional, like super casual, business casual. So I really do like this. I'm dressing like a like a 40 year old middle aged man, but this is just a shirt that I really do like. I think that it gives off that professional look that I'm trying to go for right now. And this is, like I said, I got this from Zara. This was not too expensive, honestly. I believe it was only like $60, so not too bad. And this is a shirt that I only wear with denim. Like I'm, I'm only gonna wear this with like my vintage Levi denim. I'm not gonna really wear this with like baggy jeans or flare jeans because it doesn't really look right. I've tried it and it just didn't look right. So I'm only gonna be wearing this with, you know, vintage Levi's that slim fit. I think it's the 5'11's and loafers. But honestly, I do want to find other shoes that I could wear with this besides loafers all the time. Cause yeah, I do wear a lot of loafers, but I'm trying to find like other things to wear. Like I'm trying to find derbies, like derbies are really popular right now. And Doc Martens, the ones that are not like all the way to the ankle, but not, not to the ankle, but like, you know, the high top, um, Doc Martens. I'm trying to find the low top Doc Martens because I think that this will pair perfectly with that, especially if you find the right type of pants to wear with this. But yeah, this is just a sort of cotton knitted type of material. So can't really go wrong. It's super stretchy, super breathable. So can't really go wrong with that one. Next up are sweaters. Now sweaters are something that I've been big into. I think because ever since I've seen Princess Diana like just styling a whole bunch of sweaters, I don't know, it's just did something for me. Like I've just been buying a lot of sweaters recently. And so I got this one. This is a Point Beach vintage sweater. Like I said, it's gray. It's very, I don't wanna say short or like very not fitting, but it's very, it doesn't really like go hang all the way too low, but honestly, I don't mind it because I do like that kind of, that type of styling a lot. This one is a lot longer in length. This one is a black one. This one is a lot longer on the sleeves and a lot longer in general. So this one is a one that I pair a lot with, with just like the, the crop, um, not the crop, but like the DIY denims that I have. I do pair this with, you know, 
cargos and stuff like that so this one with the sweatpants is also a good look so you can't really go wrong with sweaters sweaters is like one of those essentials that you need in your closet like if you don't have sweaters then you probably want to pick up one because no matter what type of size you're going for this is just going to accommodate for like any type of shoe pants accessory that you compare with this it's always going to look good so yeah got two in the bag now we can move on to the next shirt now this one this one is a very unique shirt because honestly, I wasn't even planning on picking this up. But when I saw it, I was like, you know what, why not? And ever since I got it, I just love the way that it looked, especially how it fits on me. It fits like so tapered to my body that it's like super well, the quality is like well crafted. Like it's very stretchy. So it feels like a, like, what is that material called? Not a nylon. It's like a stretchy material, but this one honestly just fits so perfect. You can see that the lettering on it is kind of like this glossy, puffed out lettering on it. And honestly, the back of it, nothing too crazy, but just the color and everything, it just comes out so perfect. This is a Hugo Boss shirt, but yeah, this one is just one that I wear a lot especially with like neutral colors like if you're gonna be wearing a jacket you can wear like a beige jacket you can wear a red uh not like a red but like a muted red type of burgundy with this and it's just gonna look super well so can't really go wrong with that t-shirt now the final two items on this pickup video is going to be this one now this one is from the same brand that i got the sweatpants from h2 exchange now you can see it says unity in the front and honestly the design on the side is super fire it has this sort of dragon design on the side and then this flame on design and the way that it's designed it's like a t-shirt on top of a t-shirt like it has this sort of under layer to it that's sort of connected to make one piece and it's just very unique i've never really had a shirt like this i've always seen shirts like this online but i've never really like had the chance to pick them up but i saw this in store and i was like yeah i have to pick this up like this is too far now you can see this one follows the same design language as the sweatpants where the stitching is sort of on the outside with the lime green stitching on one side and then the black stitching well the black stitching is not on the outside for this, but you see the collar, even the stitching is outside. This could focus, but the stitching is outside the collar. The tag, it has this blue tag with the H2 on the inside. And this one, like I said, this one is very long. This one, I got a medium for, and this one fits like an XL. I think that's part of Heron Preston's design, like the type of designs that he goes for. He goes for like very oversized designs, so I can't really, be too mad at it and honestly i do like it because i'm gonna mostly be wearing this with like baggy jeans so honestly it pairs the proportions are gonna be paired very very well especially if you have like very baggy jeans and you know like the proportions of what type of jeans you want to wear with this you can't really go wrong with this now i have the white version as well this one has it's this one is not even white this one the sleeves are white but the actual shirt itself is like a cream color with this pink unity on the front of it now this one is actually nice i didn't think that the pink unity was actually going to be a nice touch to it but the more that i wear it, it's like the more i appreciate it because it's just like something so subtle but it makes the shirt pop a lot and like i said same design language with the green stitching on the outside can't really go wrong with that again blue tag with the h2 tag on the inside now this one like i said for some reason this one is a medium but this one is a small but you can see by the b-roll that they fit exactly the same like there's really no difference so either the tags were messed up or i'm just dumb and i can't really notice the difference but yeah honestly you can't really go wrong with a shirt like this like i said heron preston's design language with his clothing is that oversized look and I really do like that, especially if you're into streetwear, you know, oversized look is like the big thing that's making a comeback right now. Like everybody wants to be wearing the early 2000s type of style right now. So you can't really go wrong with that. But yeah, got these two and that's going to be it. So yeah, that's basically going to be it for the video. These are like clothes that I actually have for the pickups. I didn't pick up any type of like shoes or anything or did I pick up anything? I don't think I picked up anything else. 
yeah that's basically going to be it i didn't pick up any shoes i didn't pick up any new ex actually i lied i did pick up new accessories i picked up these glasses now these glasses are like the silver but like the actual lens itself is chrome and it looks actually nice and unique so can't really go wrong with that and what else did i pick up so that's basically going to be it for the video if you did enjoy this video i'd appreciate it if you guys left a thumbs up like this video share this video and do all of that youtube thing so the algorithm could push out my content and like i said i appreciate you guys for 900 subscribers from the bottom of my heart because it really truly means a lot to me that i'm able to do this for fun and you guys are actually enjoying the content that i put out for you guys so basically that's going to be it for the video i hope you guys like i said were entertained i hope you guys like some of the clothing that i put on hope you like the b-roll that i showed for you guys and i will catch you guys in the next video peace